From the Concrete River by Luis J. Rodriguez Always Running All night vigil, my two-and-a-half-year-old boy and his ten-month-old sister lay on the same bed, facing opposite ends, their feet touching. They looked soft, peaceful, bundled there in strands of blankets. I brushed away roaches that meandered across their faces, but not even that could wake them. Outside, the dark cover of night tore as daybreak bloomed like a rose on a stem of thorns. I sat down on the back steps, gazing across the yellowed yard. A 1954 Chevy Bel Air stared back. It was my favorite possession. I hated it just then. It didn't start when I tried to get it going earlier that night. It had a bad solenoid. I held a 12-gauge shotgun across my lap. I expected trouble from the Paragon's gang of the West Linwood Barrio. Somebody said I drove the car that dudes from Colonia Watts used to shoot up the Paragon's neighborhood. But I got more than trouble that night. My wife had left around 10 p.m. to take a friend of mine home. She didn't come back. I wanted to kill somebody. At moments, it had nothing to do with the paragons. It had to do with the woman I loved. But who to kill? Not her. Sweet allure wrapped in a black skirt. I'd kill myself first. Kill me first, but she was the one who quit kill her no think man i was hurt angry but to kill her to kill a paragon to kill anybody i went into the house and put the gun away later that morning my wife came for her things some clothes the babies, their toys. A radio, broken TV, and some dishes remained. I didn't stop her. There was nothing to say that my face didn't explain already. Nothing to do but run. So I drove the long haul to Downey and parked near an enclosed area alongside the Los Angeles River. I got out of the car, climbed over the fence, and stumbled down the slopes. A small line of water rippled in the middle. On rainy days, this place flooded and flowed, but most of the time it was dry, with dumped garbage and dismembered furniture. Since a child, the river and its veins of canals were places for me to think places to heal. Once on the river's bed, I began to cleanse. I ran. I ran into the mist of morning, carrying the heat of emotion through sun's rays. I ran past the factories that lay smack in the middle of somebody's backyard. I ran past alleys with overturned trash cans and mounds of tires. Debris lay underfoot. Overgrown weeds scraped my leg as I streamed past, recalling the song of bullets that whirled in the wind. I ran across bridges beneath overhead passes and then back alongside the infested walls of the concrete river. Splashing rainwater as I threaded, my heels colliding against the pavement, so much energy propelled my legs. And, just like the river, it went on for miles. 
When all was gone, the concrete river was always there, and me, always running.